What did the mama shark say to the kid shark? Watch that sharkism, young man. <laughs> My cat is not impressed. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Shark Bites with Fred. Fred being me. This is episode number three. And today I want to talk to you about database as a service or DBAS. You know, developers often ask me, why should I care about database as a service? And I understand you're a technical person. You are able to install MySQL, Postgre, Redis, any databases out there. You will find tutorials to help you make it happen. And you probably can be able to maintain those. But you know what? Is it the best use of your time? Like it's better to pay someone who the specific expertise and the only task that that person has to do is to take care about your database. It's to like think about uh, updating it, uh, upgrading to the latest and greatest, but also security, which is something we often put in the back burner. So those things are important and I think it make it faster and easier to have reliable performance with your database. So think about that for a small amount per month, you are able to use your own time to do what you're best at, coding your application. So let me show you how it's working with DigitalOcean offering. So first thing I did, I'm in my cloud dashboard right now and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new database. In my case, I can choose Postgre, MySQL, Redis. So let's do MySQL. I can choose the node plan uh, there's different prices which come with different configurations. So let's take the 15 bucks per month. It's one gigabyte of RAM and one virtual CPU plus 10 gigabyte of disk. Choosing the data center, uh, let me keep uh, New York. So it's always a good practice to choose a data center where you have the droplets that kind of connect to your database. I can give it a specific name. So I'm going to call this shark bytes episode number three and i choose the project and i'm going to create the database cluster that's going to take about five minutes to create the database so during that time i have access to some information one important step is that i need to have at least my current ip if i want to connect from my own computer or any droplets or kubernetes cluster or any entities that will have access to my database because in that case if i don't no access Next window, what I love is that I have the um, information to connect to my MySQL database and there's different ways to do that. In my case, I'm gonna use the flag one, I'm gonna copy paste, and once my database is gonna be created in my command line, I'm gonna be able to access my database. Uh, quite important in uh, most of the software, you're gonna need to download the CA certificate because SSL is on by default and you cannot turn that off, which is a good thing, uh, security first at the end of the day. So let's go to the next step. Let's, great, I'm done. And let's fast forward to the database being created. So now that my database has been created, I can go in the common line, copy paste the command that I um, took from the cloud dashboard and I am in my database. So if I show databases, you're going to see the default databases that are being created. And at that point, I can do whatever I need to do with my MySQL database. As you can see, that was really fast to create the MySQL database. And actually, yes, that was a quick demo, but you can do this with PostgreSQL, also with Redis and DigitalOcean. But there is other cloud provider out there offering other types of database as a service. This is really about having a database that is working well that you don't have to worry about. So you can concentrate on what you do best. Please send me any suggestion in the comments section on the YouTube channel, but also you can send me an email at sharkbytes at digitalocean.com or on Twitter at Hefarper. On that note, see you soon.